Hi everybody with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emery. Tomorrow's young stars will be showcasing their talent tonight in this Western Hockey League matchup. Opening face off on the horizon, Eddie Olchek alongside. Let's get his impression of this matchup. The WHL was created to bring major junior hockey to the West and has done that successfully with alumni including Joe Sackett, Grant Fuhr, and our very own Ray Ferraro. Let's see if anyone here can even come close to Ray's prolific numbers. Leads that charge into the zone. That puck hits. Score! That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. Saskatoon's won that faceoff. They have it. That move not too slick there. In their own end, keeps it going. The Broncos have it along the side at mid-ice. And that pass was just off. And so everybody has to go back. Take it to the slot. It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty. And the arm of the referee is up. Swift Currents taking advantage of the delayed call. The goalie is off. The Blades are given a hooking minor. Saskatoon penalty to number 27. Two minutes for obstruction. Hooking. Time of the penalty. Eight minutes, 14 seconds. Don't forget to check out. Just under five minutes have gone by in the second. It's a one-nothing game. And now it's directed to Andres. Shoots one. Save. He is hooked. He kind of shook it off and continues to play. There'll be a penalty. The Blades guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Saskatoon penalty to number 39. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty. Five minutes, 45 seconds. The Blades with possession in the neutral zone. Crosses that line. Hammered. Score! That's the way to turn momentum. A quick one. The Blades have taken a late second period lead in this one. That might change the conversation in the locker room at the Horn. The Broncos get it off the faceoff. Scored by number 25. Assisted by number 39. And by number 6. Time of the goal. 15 minutes, 9 seconds. Oh, that was a bad pass. Okay, back out we go. Let's see what happens here. Got it in his own end. Puck is thrown to Andres. Skated up the middle. Driving in from no man's land. The blades shifting gears back in their own end. Currents lugging it along in the defensive zone. Cuts off the passing lane. Blades have forced another turnover, Doc. They've done a real nice job in that category in this close game. Hatchets one. In the second period. Snaps one. Routine save. In with it now. And the pickup. This is what most fans like, unless they really like blowouts for their team. 
They like a game that's 40 minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? The Broncos have been a bit frustrated, Doc, after two periods of play. They were down on the scoreboard. They have the prospects of a real hot goaltender in front of them. As their coach, I would tell them to stay with it. Eventually, you get one, and then you get another, and you'll be right back in this game. The Blades have played 40 minutes, and they cling to a one-goal lead. Loose puck. The defense got in the way there. Takes a perfect pass. Well, that's what your wings are for. They give it to you right in the center. Many yards gained to Andres. Puck grab. They've got it ready. Hammered. Flings it. Outstanding save with a glove. The Blades win it. Big drive. Score. A pair of goals by the same team. The Blades have struck for another goal. They've built a two-goal lead here early in the third period. All of hockey life is timing, and theirs is terrific. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Assisted by number 39. Time of the goal, 2 minutes, 35 seconds. Gives it to the point. Beside the line. Goes to the backhand. Good save there. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. pass out of the zone on the wing he's got it didn't drag it very well there loose puck looking to Andres Saskatoon's in the neutral zone along the wing a solo rush enormous save on a breakaway kingpin that's unbelievable the Broncos are at the wing in neutral ice. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. You can go a couple of weeks before you get a chance like that. Right in the middle of the ice, time to shoot it. And he doesn't even get it on the net. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Break away! Save! Shut down the best guy the other team had. You don't get many breakaways late in the game. What a stop. Shoots. Save with the pad. Just 46 left. Throws it. Great save. Oh, it laid there, but he got the whistle and home to play. What a face-off win by the defense. Makes that play deep. The Broncos are moving the puck through the neutral zone. That puck left the zone, and so everybody will have to reset. Pitching it to Andres. Picks it up back there. Gets across, looks over his options. To Andres. game tonight after that empty netter. I'll probably put a bow on this one, Ed, so that'll be it. Game over. It is a good thing there are extra digits that go all the way up high on both scoring and in shooting because those were challenged tonight. This was lopsided. Not a very good effort. You need to regroup. The coach and general manager are going to have a meeting.
forgive me, I don't know what you was told. But we was corner up, struggle in the coat. I put that city on the map, oh. put that city on my back, till I'm up with a